guys. So today we are going to be going over the Thrive um, Tropical Essentials Kit. I have a video going over the Desert Essentials Thrive Kit on my channel. I will leave it linked in the description below. I really liked that enclosure, which is partially why I bought this one. Um, I wanted a 24 by 24, or sorry, 18 by 18 by 24 enclosure that I could put in the living room. And I love these enclosures because they have the hard mesh tops. So I'm hoping this one does too. Um, like I said in my last one, my local PetSmart is like 40 minutes away. So I couldn't like go there and check it out. I ordered it online um, and I went down and picked it up before close after my shift at work. So yeah, let's jump into this. It was wrapped in a little more um, like plastic and stuff, but I took it off so it would be a little easier. Um, so it says, create a unique world for tropical reptiles and amphibians, ideal for geckos, chameleons, anoles, tropical snakes, amphibians, and long-tailed geckos. So as long as this is going to work for what I think, I'm actually going to do a bioactive build for my Japanese cave gecko and have it as a display animal in my living room. Um, so this kit includes a 30-gallon vertical glass terrarium with open front door mesh screen lid 60 watt daytime blue heat bulb um i've been told that blue heat bulb actually shows up as clear so i'm gonna have to check that out uh to make sure because if it does i can use it if it shows up blue i'm not going to use it but um also a 13 watt tropical uvb bulb that will be good two five or 5.5 dome lamps a thermo thermometer and hygrometer combo, a brick of compressed cocoa fiber, tropical cling background, twisted leafy vine, suction cup food, and water dish. On Thrive, or on PetSmart's website, this enclosure goes for $179. Um, I thought that was a pretty good deal because if you get an Exoterra or a Zoomed, it's about that much just for the enclosure. So this comes with a bunch of extra stuff. Um, which I figured I would be able to use. So without further ado, let me get this thing out and pull the stuff out and we'll kind of go over what's in it, um, the enclosure, and all of that jazz. Okay, there's a train outside, but it's been going by for like literally 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna just start talking. If it hungs the horn again, I'll stop. But uh, so let's go over the lid first. This is one of my favorite things about Thrive is it's a really thick metal uh, mesh on top so like if a cat jumps up there or something it's not going to bend and like pop out it's really really thick um and it's completely like screw uh screwed into the back which i really like it's not awesome at absorbing uvb and letting uvb pass so if you're putting an animal in there that needs uvb i would not do that um but my japanese cave gecko does not need uvb and i think this will be awesome and it's an extra safety precaution to um, put him out here. Um, like I've said many times before, my cats usually don't bother any of my other animals, but they do have a bad habit of letting them sit on the lid. So this is just in case. Um, the Thrive enclosure comes with these two little um, pop-out things so you can feed cords through if you want to. And it also comes with this big twist-off thing. So I think you can twist it off. Oh yeah, so you can twist off the entire thing, and I think they have some sort of like um, fogger or something that feeds through here perfectly. I'm not sure exactly because I've never had it, but it also looks like you have a third little hole here if you just turn it a little bit. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it would work if you just need to get a couple cords through. So that is kind of everything for the lid, and then it just slides back on and clips in the front. Um, there's also some ventilation up here, which is really nice. So it's not just the top, it's also um, the front. Um, before we go more into the enclosure, let's go over everything that came in it, just so I can move this stuff. Um, so there's a couple papers stuck to it. Uh, instruction manual and an instruction manual for the food cup, I guess. There's also a booklet of coupons. So there's a free 12 crown of crickets, 50% off 50 count mealworms, 20% off any Thrive freeze-dried food, 20% off any Thrive decor item, and 20% off 
any Thrive light bulb and 20% off any Thrive substrate. I'm wondering if you can use more than these of these at once because like I said, my uh, pets aren't so far away. That'd be nice if I could just go get them all at once. But I don't know. I'll have to ask. Um, so next is this Tropical Cling background. A lot of people are don't like these. I actually am pretty excited this came with it because what I plan on doing is building up a background on the back and then using this on one of the sides. So two of the four sides are covered and two of the four sides are like to be able to see in. Um, so that'll give my gecko plenty of places to hide but also be able to hopefully see him a little more because currently I never see him and he is like my dream gecko. So um, I'm hoping if I build up a special enclosure for him that um, is a little more made ex especially for his needs that that will be something I can see more. Um, next is this natural compressed cocoa uh, coconut fiber bedding. This stuff's awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna use it in this enclosure because I want it to be bioactive. I might even mix it with the bio dude bio uh bioactive wait what's it called terrafauna i think bedding um just to give a little more depth uh but yeah it comes with this this is never a bad thing to have especially if you have animals that don't have bioactive substrate and you need to change a substrate this stuff's not super expensive i think this is like 10 bucks for the whole brick and it expands a lot Next we have this twisty vine, um, it looks like, so it's just like one of those bendable vines that you can bend and shape to however you want and then put it in the enclosure. It's actually kind of cool because it looks like it's big enough that the animal can actually use the vine um, and then it also has some plant coverage so I actually like this quite a bit. I don't know if I'm going to use it in this enclosure but it would be great in a crested gecko enclosure. Next is this stick-on thermometer and hygrometer combo. This is one thing I'm for sure not going to use. I've heard too many horror stories about the stick-on um, things that stick inside the enclosure, fall off, and animal get stuck to it. It's a nightmare. So I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to be actually just throwing it away so no one else uses it either. Here are the two domes. I have two of these from my other one as well. These are really nice um, ceramic domes, so it absorbs the heat. It's not going to um, heat up too much and like fall off and burn your house down because this ceramic piece actually absorbs the heat. So they're very safe to use. I don't know how much these cost normally, but these are never a bad thing to have, especially um, to be able to offer UVB to your pets. Next, it comes with this little feeding ledge. Um, so what I'll say is I do like this. I like that it's lightweight, so if it falls, it's not gonna hurt anyone. Um, I don't know about these plastic cups. They're kind of thick plastic, so you'd probably be able to wash them a couple times, but I don't know how many times. Um, and I don't know if Pets Hurt sells replacement cups. They may, um, which if they do, that would be good. Um, I do have something else that has this sort of like latching thing and I am not a huge fan I could not get it to stick for the life of me Basically what you do is you stick it to the glass and there's this little twisty thing in there that you Tighten and it's supposed to suction on however. I have never had success um, In doing so so like what you do is you stick it on there Like eventually mine just falls right off which is super annoying I, like, I don't know how tight you're supposed to make this thing for it to stay. Yeah, I don't know how to make this work. I don't like these this way to attach it. Honestly, I might even just build this into the background um, and take this whole freaking thing off and just fill this part up with sp spray foam so I can at least use it. Um, honestly, with the Japanese cave gecko, I wouldn't need to use it as necessarily like a food dish because they're insectivores, uh, but I could use these as little water dishes or something. I don't know. I might just build this into the background. Um, and the last two things before we get into the cage is the two bulbs. So this is the daytime blue heat bulb. 
Um, I don't see on it anywhere specifically if it says it shines clear. I might have to just plug it in and check because, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Um, the one thing they don't provide that you will definitely need if you're going to use heat is a thermostat. Um, I usually get plant thermostats off of Amazon. I will try to link the one that I usually get in the description below. It's about $18. It's a lot less expensive than the ones at the pet store and it works really good. I have like 12 of them or something crazy. And then a 13 UVB um, bulb, which is always good to have. They fit in those grates. Um, and these need to be changed every six months. Um, so I'm pretty sure yeah, every six months, so this is never a bad thing to have, even if I'm not going to use it with this enclosure. I have other enclosures that have the same bulb, so that's something I don't have to buy now. Now, let's jump into the actual enclosure itself. So, let me get this tape off. The one thing I did notice, and that's kind of, is I don't know if I like how this door locks. It looks like it only locks up here. Yeah, which I don't like a lot. I do like that it has a ginormous front opening door, really easy to access your animal. It's gonna be, it's gonna be super easy to build the background. Um, I'll probably do a video of me building this, so if you want to see that, definitely subscribe and stay tuned. Um, but it's just a basic 18 by 18 by 24. It has a nice deep bottom down here which is going to be awesome for making it bioactive um so yeah this door is a little bit a little bit weird i'm worried i'm worried that if an animal really wanted to they might be able to push this open from the inside not the outside but um how hard it is to push open so it's not super easy i might make some sort of DIY like magnet clip or something just to hold it down at the bottom as well uh, just to be safe because um, that is something I'm concerned about I don't know why they made it only latch at the top even the other one that has like the pull latch at the bottom clicks in at the top so I don't know um, but that being the only downside and I think it would be a pretty easy fix to just put a couple magnets and like some sort of latch going across um, I think this is an awesome enclosure. I think it was an awesome deal. I am super excited to get this built for my Japanese cave gecko. Um, and yeah, I hope that was informative. If you had any other questions or if I missed something, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.